let's talk about cropping an image. I know this is one of those topics where I've already covered it. I covered it a little prematurely in the earlier videos um, so that you'd be able to crop images if applicable. Um, but now it's part of our learning objectives and it's one of the things that you should know how to do when you are finished with um, this lecture on pixel basics. When you crop an image, you need to make sure that you are choosing a width, a height, and a resolution. If you don't choose one of those three values, Photoshop will choose it for you. And so if you choose a width and a height, it'll say based on your width and height uh, choices and the existing number of pixels in the image, I can resample the picture so that the resolution is whatever the resolution would be allowable for the number of pixels in the image. So if you know that you have to use an image as four inches across and six inches tall at 300 resolution for your project, you need to make sure you tell Photoshop that it is four inches across, it is six inches tall, and it must be 300 resolution. If you're putting something on the web and you wanted to make sure that it's 300 pixels across and 400 pixels tall, you would have to also tell Photoshop that it's 300 pixels across, 400 pixels tall, and because we're prepping images for the web, we would crop it at 72 resolution. If you fail, I know that I'm saying this over and over again, but if you fail to choose one of those three options, Photoshop will make up the other value. It'll say, based on the information, this is what the other, the other value could be. And so although that there are lots of options when you go to crop, see this drop down here that's on your on your options bar at the top of the screen here. On this drop down menu, there are lots of presets and different options that you can choose. Um, original ratio, I believe, is the default, or I think underneath the yellow here, it says just ratio. If you choose ratio, it's just going to allow you to plug in two of those three values. And so I would highly recommend that you hit this drop down and choose with height resolution. If you are using a version of Photoshop that is earlier than the Creative Cloud, this option may be in a different place. So I believe in CS6, it's at the bottom of the panel. It says width, height, and resolution. In CS5.5, you're going to have to click around. And I think it launches a dialog box. And inside that dialog box, you can, you can choose a width, a height, and a resolution. It is the most important part of cropping. And so before we go to Photoshop and actually crop, I just want to go through the steps that are necessary. And so one, to crop an image, you need to choose the crop tool. It's on your tools panel on the left hand side of the screen. It's the sixth one down. It looks like little crosshairs. Um, earlier in the semester, I said that a lot of the terms in uh, Photoshop, they don't they didn't make them up. They didn't say, oh, this is a great, let's crop something. Let's make up the word crop. Um, the little icon actually um, goes back to traditional photography and darkroom photography, and you would use a cropping tool to crop the image and make it smaller as you're exposing it to photo paper. So you're going to choose the crop icon. Uh, once you choose the crop icon across the top of your screen here, your, your options bar is going to change, and it's going to be all the settings that you can choose for cropping an image. Um, the second option, and there's a drop down, make sure that that says with height and resolution. When you do that, it will change the bar to with height resolution and you will be able to choose a width, a height, and a resolution. You can type in pixels here or inches. So I'm a printer, so I typed inches. But if you're prepping something for the web, you would want to crop it in terms of pixels. And so the image that I'm cropping in this example would be five inches across and three inches tall, and it would be 300 resolution. Step four is you need to click and drag to make a selection of the area that you are cropping. And so you can see in this example that I have the crosshairs here are the handlebars of my selection and the active area is bright and vibrant and then the area in the background is dull and faded out. Anything that's active or bright is what I'm going to keep and anything that's dull in the background is what's going to be deleted unless I tell it not to delete it but we'll get there when we get to Photoshop. You can click and drag to make this box smaller or bigger. You can click and drag within it to reposition the image back and forth. Um, whatever you do, do not accept the crop until you have exactly what you want. When you have the active area that you would like to crop, you can choose along your options bar at the top of the screen here. There's a check mark and it will accept your crop. If you mess up and you didn't mean to do it, hit the little circle with the line across it and it will cancel your crop. But once you hit this check mark, step number five, it will crop the image. But we're not done. I would like you to get in the habit of double checking to make sure that your crop worked. And so if you crop your image properly and you go to the image image size dialog box, the image size dialog box should tell you that the image is the exact size that you wanted it to be. And so in my example here, I wanted to crop the image to 5 inches by 3 inches at 300 resolution. 
And after I've cropped it, if I go to image and image size, my image is exactly 5 inches by 3 inches at 300. I find that a lot of students try to crop their image in the image size dialog box. This dialog box is just giving you facts. It's telling you information about your picture. And so if I wanted to crop this image to ex an exact size, I'd use the crop tool. But I'd also use this dialog box to see how big it could have been. So before I start to crop this image, I should go in and I should change the resolution to 300 and say, if my resolution was 300, how big could I crop it to? And if the answer is something less than 5 inches by 3 inches, I shouldn't crop it to that size. But if it tells me, and I'll show you when we, when we jump over to Photoshop in the next video, if it shows me that I could crop it to 15 inches by 26 inches, then I could say, okay, I have enough pixels, I have an image big enough for what I want. Hit OK, accept those changes, and then use the crop tool to make it an exact size. What happens if you change the width to 5, the height is never going to be 3. It's never going to be exactly what you want it to be. And so you're going to go back and forth and say, I want it to be 5, and then it's going to say 3.66395. And you're like, that's not what I want. So then you highlight that and you say, I want the height to be 3 inches. But when you make the height 3 inches, then the width is like 4.25 inches. And it's never going to be perfect because the aspect ratio is probably not going to line up.